What's up? Good morning, guys. John Farmenta from Precision International here in the shop. Um, we've had some requests for information on 4T65, 4T60 accumulator bodies and how to prep them to allow those seals to live a long life. Um, all of a sudden, it's just popped up out of nowhere. I'm, we're doing a ton of 6 speeds and 8 speeds and 10 speeds in my shop. And it's funny because all of a sudden we've had these questions on the internet come up. People have been calling us from around the planet. And all of a sudden we got three Volvo 4065s in to do. So it, timely and it worked out for a reason. So we're going to try to give you a little information to try to help you a little bit. Okay. Um, this isn't the Bible. Okay. But this has been working for us and for many production shops for a very long period of time. And some guys... Are resisting to it a little bit and that's okay if you know if something else works for you and that's just great but this is the recommended method to prep an accumulator bore to allow it to live a long life the reason why we're saying this to you is that these accumulator housings are made of soft metal it's not made of a steel or a hard metal or a, or a composite you can take a bushing knife and hit this thing and carve it up and put grooves in it okay and it it galls itself up relatively easy, okay? So if the seal on the piston tends to shrink up, you know, 100,000, 200,000 miles and the seal, seal shrinks up, and now the piston does this in the bore and rocks, you'll get some wear in the housing, okay? A little bit of wear that you can polish out is tolerable. A lot of wear that you can't polish out is not. You can't just go hogging the life out of this to get a groove out, okay? So here's what we're doing. Um, this is what Precision puts in the rebuild kits, okay? And like I said, this has been working for over 15 years for a lot of guys, production rebuilding, and my shop in particular, this is how we prep all the bores, okay? Um, also, what we're talking about now is that Scotch Sprite. Now, Scotch Sprite is a wonderful product from 3M, and guys use it all the time, but like, we have a guy we call a gypsy. He comes around and he sells us nuts and bolts and he sells us Scotch Brite and CRC and all the little stuff that we need in the shop, cotton and stuff like that. And they usually come in and sell the red Scotch Brite like this and you buy it in the box. Okay? This stuff is really coarse. Okay? I mean, really coarse. This stuff will, is good for uh, 4L60E um, servo piston housings on the outside where it gets a little crusted up or old school 350s, accumulator boards, cleaning it up because this kit can handle it, okay? 3M makes a host of different degrees of stuff, as you can see, and you can get this stuff at Lowe's or at Home Depot, and it's all different grades, okay? We don't want to use a heavy duty grade in here because what happens is it gets impregnated into that aluminum housing, okay? And then when the hot tranny fluid hits it, it comes loose and then it aggressively eats up the rubber seal that's on the piston, okay? So now here is, as you can see what this says on it, ultra fine. This is the gray color. So the different colors of scotch Sprite indicate the different coarsenesses or finenesses of the material. Okay, we're following that, right? The white being the softest ultra fine polishing cloth. And then we have stuff like the red. And stuff like the blue, which can take paint off a car and cut your hands. Okay, so when we're doing this, all right, we're using CRC WD-40 and we're soaking it up real good. Okay, because I don't want it to just drag and cut. I want it to polish. Okay, so then we're taking the housing in our hand like this, and we're trying to get a cross hatch. So you see how my hand is coming in and out, and in and out. We're trying to get a cross hatch, okay? We're polishing the surface up, prepping the surface off, okay? So that fluid will stay in the bore and lubricate the seal, okay? And keep it alive, all right? When it's brand new, it's so freaking smooth and it's so clean that the fluid just wipes up and down and cleans it good, okay? So now we've prepped the surface with the Scotch Brite and we can see what we've taken off of it with, 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 the, with the cleaning solution. Now, the second step to this is this. You cannot just take this thing and put it in your cleaning machine with the caustic soap. 
All cleaning machine soaps are alkaline. They're all alkaline based, okay? They tend to burn soft aluminum. If you let this stuff sit in there all weekend, you'll, you know what happens to it. You've seen it before, okay? So we have hot soapy water. We have a dish brush that we use at the house, okay? We get these at the grocery store. And in the soapy water, and in like this, okay? To get any of the residual fibers of the scotch Bright out of the housing, okay? Now we have a nice, clean bore in here now that's ready to live. This has got to get rinsed off in hot, soapy water first, okay, polished out, and then clean water to rinse the soap out of it, okay? And we always prep it off with some transmission fluid, all right? Nothing exotic in the soapy water. We're using Dawn dishwashing detergent. My guys are doing these. We're doing four or five of these at a, sh at a shot. Put them up on the shelf and they're ready to go, okay? Also, what's come to light in recent time and it's been very successful is the Bench Buddies, okay? These Bench Buddies also, they're made of nylon bristles and they don't impregnate into the housing, okay? So it's really nice to put it into here like this and you go in and out and you get a real nice cross hatch. Okay, and you polish the bore out nice and makes it live. Okay, also the same thing in the soapy water and with the brush. Polish it out like that, rinse it in the sink, and away we go. And upon reinstalling the pistons into the housing with the new seals, okay, this is what we're talking about, all right. And these go on, very simple. Always make sure that the bores aren't scuffed up and holding the seal back, like this. See how that's happening right there? The seal's got to be in the groove where it belongs, all the way around, and nice and smooth, okay? And also, when you put it together, we like to use lube guard. Some guys use Vaseline. I use the lube guard on it. We're in a really kind of like bizarro weather pattern up here in New York, so it's been zero the last couple of days, and it'll be 60 in three days. This is great stuff. It helps make this, make this live. I hope this information is helping you, okay? We're not preaching the Bible here. We're just trying to show you ways to keep these seals alive and keep these housings working good, okay? Get you, get you soon again. Take care.